I mean, she has shook heaven and hell. My wife is a prayer warrior. But I can tell you, 27, 26 years ago, that was not the case. Because you grow. You grow. Okay? So, first of all, don't let anybody be to you what I was to her. And don't let anybody make you feel bad for where you're at. Don't you ever feel bad for where you're at. You get a hold of God. Uh, I just wanted to add one thing to what she said, and then we'll get out of here. Why pray out loud? She told you why. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. When you pray out loud, not only does God hear you, you hear you. And believe it or not, praying out loud builds your own faith. You're reminding yourself of what it is you're believing God for. Okay, so it's very important that you learn how to do that. You will not start out that way. Your first early on prayers will be internal. There'll be thoughts, there'll be whispers, there'll be things you're saying within your heart. 30 years later, you should not still be there. You should grow, walk it out, learn how to walk it out. Okay, does that make sense to everybody? How many just feel like you got help tonight? Amen. Awesome. Let's stand to our feet. Before we leave tonight, let's pray. Amen. So it, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Lift your hands, open your mouth. And if you can't think of anything else, just tell the Lord how much you love him tonight. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for what you're doing in this place. And God, we call heaven and earth to take note that we are hungry for God and that we believe that great and mighty things are coming to this house in the name of Jesus. We open our mouths and we declare by faith tonight that we are believing God for the impossible in this house. We declare that this house is a house of miracles. It's a house of deliverance. It's a house of salvation. And Father, we thank you that you have great and mighty things planned for this house. And so, God, raise up prayer warriors in this room right now in the name of Jesus. God, raise up intercessors. Raise up people that will walk in the power and the authority of Jesus Christ. God, we thank you. We remind you of what you have said over this place. We remind you of what you have spoken over in this place. God, that we are not only positioned for a move of God, but God, that countless numbers are on the way. So, Father, we receive them tonight in the name of Jesus. We speak to the four winds of the earth, from the north, the south, the east, and the west, to blow them in, in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, make this a house of prayer. Make this a praying church, a believing church, a hungry church. A thirsty church, God. In the name of Jesus, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. God, move us from the place of knowing about you to to the place of knowing you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Almighty God, for what you're doing in this place. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, I want to ask you uh, to keep praying Belinda as she's in uh, recovering from a procedure. Uh, and then tomorrow morning, if you are up at this time, uh, at 7.30 in the morning, Brandon is going in for a surgery uh, that, uh, that we need the hands of God to be on the hands of the surgeon in Jesus' name. I uh, was able to sit with Brandon for a little bit today and pray with him. And uh, speak some some positive things to him. Uh, so I would like us before we just real quick for us to pray for him uh, that first of all, he'll be able to sleep tonight. And then secondly, this procedure tomorrow will be successful. And we pray that uh, the favor of God be on his body in Jesus name. And I'm just I'm just man, I'm sick and tired of cancer attacking Brandon in Jesus name. Enough's enough. I said enough's enough in Jesus name. Amen. So, Father, we send the ministering angels of heaven to Brandon right now. God, to minister right now. God, I command that tumor to detach off that bladder right now in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke every negative report in the name of Jesus. 
And God, I pray for the surgeon. I pray for the nurses. I pray for the whole medical staff. You give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and skill in the name of Jesus. Preserve his life in the name of Jesus. Devil, we tell you to take your hands off. You can't have him in the name of Jesus. We speak life to Brandon in the name of Jesus. We curse every cancerous cell in the name of Jesus. And we command it to pick up and leave now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we release healing virtue in this house in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord rebuke the spirit of cancer in this house. In the name of Jesus. It has no access in the name of Jesus. Not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, let's give God a big shout of praise if you believe it tonight. Amen. 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 Don't miss Sunday, man. Sunday, we're going to have ourselves a time in here. Sunday morning, those of you that are still going to be around. Uh, we got kids camp this weekend, and they're taking the 40-something of my volunteers away. And uh, so everybody that's not going to camp, please be here Sunday morning. Uh, we're preaching a message called Trust the Process. And uh, you've got to learn how to trust God when you can't trace God. When you don't know what he's up to, you still got to trust him. Amen. You got to trust him when you see what he's doing, and you got to trust him when you can't hear him, you can't feel him, you have no clue what's going on. Amen. So don't miss Sunday. It's going to be a great day. God bless you guys. Find yourselves 15 people. Love on them in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>